Where are we going from this one? Yeah, that one. All right. Righto, guys. G'day. It's, uh, it's us. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This episode's a little different. We've had some laptop issues this week, and Simon's editing the snow footage on my old dinosaur of a laptop. And let's just say it's not going to go well. So we've decided to delay it for... Uh, hopefully it's only just one week while we get the other laptop repaired. But um, bear with us, yeah. So yeah. we just thought we'd come and give you a bit of a live update what's going on in the real world with us and um, what exciting stuff we've got planned, I guess. Yeah, so there's a few things we want to fill you guys in on and let you know of some of the stuff that's coming up for the channel. As I said, we were hoping to bring you our snow trip uh, episode this week, but it uh, hasn't worked out, unfortunately. Uh, so after the southeast Queensland, we, we left you last time, we went and just travelled through New South Wales, visiting family and friends and catching up with people on our way down to the snow which was an awesome time and we can't wait to show you that. Hopefully, as we said, fingers crossed for us, it's next week for you. Otherwise, we've got some other cool stuff up our sleeve. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, what's happening with our Land Cruiser build, what's happening with a new caravan, are we getting a new caravan, what's coming up for the channel, some new content and stuff that we're gonna bring bringing you guys over the summer. Our 2023 uh, trip uh, plans, our 2023 travel plans. A new series of like off-grid stuff that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, I already mentioned that. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. So we'll do that as well. We'll do that twice even. I'll listen. I'll listen carefully. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and an update for patrons as well. If you're a patron, stick around for that. And that's about it. Oh, we've got a new, our website's live. Uh, we haven't really mentioned our website to you guys before, so we're going to touch a little bit on that. And yeah, apart from that, let's rip into it. So what I'm going to do with this video, as I've done with these sorts of videos before, is I'm going to break it up into chapters. So if there's only one part of the video that you think is going to interest you, you can click through to the to the part that might interest you. So there'll be a, if you look down at the timeline below, you'll be able to click through to whichever part of the video you want to watch. If you want to come back and re-watch something, you can do that as well. Uh, so yeah, let's rip into it. Coming up over the summer, we're going to be releasing a we haven't quite decided yet, it'll either be three or probably a four part series. Uh, off grid, living off grid, what that involves, how to set yourself up for living off grid, way more detail than just an electrical system. Yeah, what to think about so that you can apply the strategy for whatever situation you want. Yeah, so it's going to apply, it doesn't yeah. matter if you're a caravan or a camper, uh, even if you're building an off grid cabin in the woods, something like that. Just the things that we have to consider when, when we're living off grid. Uh, and what that means to us, like, but beyond what um, is being covered before, just in electrical systems, way more in depth than that. Yeah. So, if you've got any questions on that, anything, any ideas, anything you'd like us to include in that, leave us a comment below this video because uh, we're going to start planning out those those videos very shortly. So, yeah, if, you, if there's anything there that you sort of think, yep, I'd love to, if Simon and Liz to cover that, leave us a comment below and we'll uh, do our best to include as much of that as we can. So that's really exciting. We're really looking forward to doing that and sharing a bit of, bit of that with you. That'll be over sort of December into January. Can I ask you, so yeah. like what kind of topics are we just brainstorming that are going to be in the videos? Yeah, so managing your resources is a big one. Obviously, not just power, but water as well, waste, waste um, you know, toilets, everything like that. Uh, things that you need to be thinking about, it's, it, depending on where you're traveling, when you're traveling, how long you're traveling for. Uh, or if you're, if you're staying put, just things that you might need to consider. How long things last us, uh, all these sorts of things, all the yeah. things you need to put into play. We'll, sort of, we'll probably touch a little bit on, on traveling remotely and stuff as well, but it's not really going to be focused around that. It's more going to be focused about just off-grid because you can be off-grid and still be quite close to facilities and in town. Um, it, yeah, it just depends on where you're traveling. So Yeah, yeah. yeah but think, we will cover remote travel as well. For yeah. Like groceries we'll, and provisioning Yeah, and stuff we'll touch like on that. all that as well. Yeah, yeah for sure. So the other, obviously the other big thing that's happening at the moment is our 76 Land Cruiser build. So if you'd missed our video where we announced we are building a 2023 76 series Land Cruiser, at the moment, it's fingers crossed when it will turn up. Uh, best guesses at the moment from everyone is we should see it hopefully February next year. Uh, but as everyone knows with Land Cruisers and the new car market in general at the moment, it's it's pretty hard to, to pick. So. Yeah, look at the moment, the best guess we've got is February. We're hoping to get a build date this side of Christmas, uh, which will then give us a better time frame, a, a more sort of concrete time frame. Uh, so yeah, we've got really big things planned with this build, but we want to do something a little bit different. I mean, you've all seen uh, vehicle builds on YouTube before and, and different social media and people sort of showing what they've done to their vehicles. We don't feel like a lot of people go into a, enough detail about 
why. why or why they've chosen certain products or why they've done certain things a certain way and the process that leads up to that point. Uh, it's, there's a lot that goes on between placing an order for a vehicle and, and doing a build and starting to bolt accessories on. In my opinion, there's a fair bit of planning and things that things that you should be considering in that in that gap, I guess, between there. So I want to take you guys on a bit of a journey. I'm going to be filming a couple of videos over the coming months, uh, taking you through on, on what I'm up against as far as challenge is concerned, uh, what sort of products we're looking at, how I do my research, where I get that information from, and try and just go through all that, because hopefully it can help some people, some of you out there if you are thinking of doing something similar. So yeah, that was sort of the idea of it all. Yeah, we've had a few challenges already with the 76 because you'll be able to explain this better than I will, but there's new um, figures. Yeah, so the the 70 series Land Cruiser has been through an update. If uh, if you haven't been following it too closely, so it's a fairly minor update. They don't like to change things too much with the 70 series, but basically the Australian government changed the rules that um, of what uh, vehicles have to do to comply with the light commercial vehicle uh, regulations in Australia. So. A big upgrade that they would have had to do to the Land Cruiser 70 series was its side impact protection uh, to meet those new requirements, uh, or they had to reclassify the vehicle. So that's the path that they chose to go, was to reclassify the vehicle as it's now a medium commercial vehicle, as I understand it, uh, which means it has to have a GVM of over three and a half tonne. So what that meant was that all the, all the 70 series, the single cabs, dual cabs, troopies, and the 76 wagon, all got an upgraded GVM to 3,510 kilos to get it just over the three and a half tonne. The biggest winner out of that though was the 76 wagon because it previously had the lowest at GVM. So it's it's made, a, I think it's, a, I'll have to double check the figures, but I'm pretty sure it's a 460 kilo increase in payload now in the 76 wagons versus the, the current model. So that's a huge change. It's had big implications though in the in the aftermarket in accessories and things like that because it now means no accessories uh, or not no accessories a lot of accessories that were currently available for the 76 series or for the 70 series in general no longer comply or may not comply and they have to be re-engineered, retested and re-approved. So we're talking about bull bars, GVMs, suspension. Uh, bar work in general, uh, even lights and the way they fit because the new one will have a forward-facing radar, all these sorts of implications. So what that means for us is <laughs> we can't really order much gear because no one knows if it's going to comply with the current or the new model. So the updated models are just landing in Australia now. Some different organisations have gotten their hands on one. I know ARB have one, for example, and they're starting to work on things. Uh, but all the different aftermarket suppliers are going to have to get their hands on a vehicle to check fit that their gear still fits it and then that it still complies with the with all the regulations. So it's going to prove to be a bit of a challenge because we can't place our order for any of these accessories and by the time they say they're available, it may be then add to the lead time that we can get our hands on the accessories and we may end up with the vehicle sitting there for quite a while. Yeah. In the meantime, we're having a bit of fun with the um, the fit out and the accessories and the colour choices that we want to go with. So Yeah, we're trying to do, a, we're, get, well, we're not trying to, we are going to do a really well thought out build with it and do some things that are a little bit different to what's been seen previously in the market, trying to do some new things and, and really custom, I mean, one of the reasons we chose the 76 as a platform for our next vehicle was just because they are so basic that they then allow for a lot of customization and to really tailor the vehicle to our needs. Uh, obviously, as full-time travelers with two kids, we film a lot, so it needs to suit our needs as, as content creators, but we also want to build a vehicle that's a, a bit better than the current vehicle is. Uh, for camping out of away from the caravan. We want to be able to do some more trips where we just leave the caravan behind and go and do a few days or a week or whatever it might be away from the caravan. That's very much possible with the Ranger as it's set up at the moment, but it's just, it, it's a little bit inconvenient. And so then the hassle factor kicks in and, uh, and you tend not to do it as often. So we really want to make it as a really good standalone camping touring vehicle without necessarily being a tow vehicle, but then obviously be quite capable as a tow vehicle as well. So it needs to sort of 
fulfill a few different uh, roles, I guess, the vehicle. So we'll be we'll be choosing accessories and doing some custom stuff to try and make it fit those those needs as best we can. So yeah, really excited to show you and take you guys along for the journey. I'm really looking forward to getting some of your input. I know you guys out there have got a lot of good ideas and things like that. So really happy to really hoping to be able to bring that on board and uh, and and bring some of those ideas to life. So we'll be definitely working together on that. Um, there'll be I'll be releasing another video this side of Christmas to give a bit of an update on um, on the 70 and some of the ideas we've got and where we're going to go with that. So yeah, stick around for that if, you, if that's something that interests you. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and, and you'll get notified when those videos come out. And same thing with those off-grid videos as well. Yes. If that interests you, hit that subscribe button and, uh, and let us know that you're keen to see them and leave us a comment below. Well, can you believe it? We are coming up into the last week of November, which also means it's the last week of our Movember campaign. Thank you so much to everyone that's already supported us. We've raised almost $2,000 already, which is just an outstanding result. We are so stoked with that. So thank you to everyone that's already donated. But there is still time. If you haven't donated yet, we'd really appreciate it if you could jump over and throw a donation in there, a couple of dollars, whatever it is that you can afford. It really does make a difference. We're really trying to raise awareness and support mental health in this country uh, we lose far too many of our men to suicide and uh, and mental health problems it is just it's a devastating statistics in this country that it's the leading cause of death in young men here so look everything you can do we would really appreciate your support I'll leave a link just up here you can go and click there click on that or I'll leave a description in the um, or I'll leave a link in the description below so you can click on that and uh, and head over there and drop a donation in thanks legends we really appreciate it Speaking of caravans. Caravans. So in our last update video, we said we might be getting a new caravan. What happened? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. it. Makes me sad. Yeah. We were going to be getting a zone expedition. So the new zone expedition, which is um, a smaller version. It's a 16 foot, it's a pop top. It's got an exterior kitchen. It was going to have double queen bunk beds in it. We really were excited about it. We went and saw the model. We went and did a factory tour. We checked, yeah, out, the checked out the prototype. We've been in there. We were going to be the first ones releasing it. And that's no longer going to be the case, unfortunately. And we're pretty devastated about it. But yeah, so we've been in the, been in talks with Zone for about six months now about building this caravan together and doing something together. It was a big... It was a big reason we even considered getting a new caravan, to be honest, was that they wanted to, to do this project with us and, and get us involved in, in helping to launch the new the new expedition model, which we were really excited about, mm. until about a month ago, and they, they basically pulled the pin on the whole thing. Um, well, they sort of said, too, like, it was always going to be, like, hopefully November, pre-Christmas, it'll be ready for you, and then it was... Oh, it's going to be up, like delays with the 3D printer, so it'll be a little bit later, a little bit later, a little bit later, and now and then, you know, it's was pushing into some other travel plans we had, and then they've recently just said, no, nah, not doing it. So they're not sure. What they've told us is that they're not sure if they're going to do a family version of it yet, and if they are, how far away it is. They still don't know how far away the the couple's version of it is. It just the project kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And then until they basically just said they don't want to do it with us anymore, they're not going to continue that project with us, and just just terminated it basically, which was pretty disappointing, and it kind of left us in the lurch a little bit. Um, we sort of made a lot of plans to to have that caravan and to to go and do some trips with it. So now we're in a bit of a in a bit of a pickle, I guess. We're just trying to figure our way through it. Whether we go back to keeping the current van, which we're extremely happy with, as you guys know, we really like this van. So There's a few things we would tweak. Yeah, so one, yeah. one of the things we're considering is to do some changes to this caravan, do some upgrades and do some modifications and just, just tailor, I guess, a bit to, to more to our needs. Uh, they're a great caravan, but they're obviously built to a, to a spec level and there wasn't a lot of options we could pick when we built this caravan. They were fairly fairly restricted in what you could do yeah. as far as you know, even internal colour choices but even layouts and different things like that so there is an opportunity there for us to potentially do like a mini reno I guess on this caravan and do some updates and things like that but then we're also looking at what else is on the market uh, that might suit our needs it's it's difficult though there we do have fairly 
stringent requirements, I suppose. Mm. Not nothing that we think is is unreasonable, but we still obviously we, we want to stick with composite um, composite panel construction if we can. Uh, that's that's we really believe that's the future of caravan construction. It has some huge advantages, obviously insulation and weight and strength and all those things. Uh, so that cuts down the market pretty quickly already. We definitely, we're, we're comfortable with going to a smaller caravan, potentially. Obviously. But, yeah, because obviously <laughs> I'd wrap we'll, my head around that. Because <laughs> we were considering the expedition, but we do want to stay dual axle. That's, uh, that's important. Just to maintain payload, it'd, it'd be difficult for us to take everything that we want to take and have everything that keeps us comfortable when we're traveling and, and maintain a, a payload that was was doable on a single axle so and, and i do like the stability of a dual axle as well so we want something dual axle uh and then apart from that it's really just comes down to payload so reducing that getting that tear weight down there's a lot of caravan manufacturers out there that are building really Beautiful nice vans, vans but they're they're really heavy um tear weight and the same struggle we had actually when we bought this van and a big reason that we bought this one at the time was it was so much lighter than anything else comparable on the market so and even uh, the new zones are not anywhere near as light as ours yeah i was just going to touch on that so yeah, yeah so one option obviously would be why not just go into a sojourn or a new new zone well again there's a lot of restriction they're, they're pretty much a cookie cutter design as far as there's not a lot of variation you can make and not, not a lot of customization you can make it's not that different to what we've already got there's a few changes some we think are improvements some we actually prefer what we've got um so yeah it just didn't make sense for us it didn't seem that different or that new a big big draw card for the for the expedition was something quite different and something quite new and we so want we, to showcase that to to you guys to your yeah you know, we like testing new things we like innovation we like new design new but like that gets us excited. Like and we, we like love to, seeing when people think outside the box and actually make something really functional. Yeah, and we like to push the boundaries a little bit. That's part of the reason we were we were sort of considering going into a smaller caravan, even though it's doing our heads in thinking about how that's going to actually work. <laughs> I think you've kind of got to do it to know. In the same way that if you're sitting at home wondering how you would go living in a caravan, we're sort of doing the same game, but thinking how would we go on a smaller caravan or a slightly different design or something with more external cooking rather than internal and all those sorts of things. So we're very much at the back of the drawing board as far as a new caravan is concerned. When we're sort of on the fence as to whether you get a new caravan at all or stick with what we've got. If we stick with what we got, we could leave it exactly as it is and just keep traveling. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, or we could make those changes to it, or we could go to a whole new caravan, a whole different setup. So. If there's something that you think meets our criteria that we might not be aware of on the market, leave us a comment yeah, below so. and let us know because we're, we're certainly interested in checking out you know and, uh, uh, anything really. And I know there's a lot of smaller manufacturers out there out there that are um, yeah we may not be aware of or, or new products that may be coming to market but we may not be aware of. So feel free to drop us a comment below and let us yeah. know. But really, yeah, it's just a watch and wait at the moment with the caravan game. We're just playing playing the game of, of shopping around and trying to find if there's anything that that is enticing enough for us to, to try something different or try something new. So we'll see how that ends Watch up. Watch this eh? space. Watch this space. Watch That's this where we're space. at with that. Exciting news. Our website is ready. Well, it's been ready for a while. It's been ready, but we've had a few tweaks and some technical stuff that we've had to get fixed. And it's not at the point where I've been like, please go and check out our website. But our website is now ready to go so you can go check out our website so we've basically sat down and thought like what do we want to do and it's we just want to inspire educate and equip there are like three pillars so we've sort of organized all the content into those three sections yeah. and we've got an interactive map there with all of our youtube episodes plotted so if you're thinking oh we've got an nt um sorry we've got a trip to the northern territory planned you can just go have a look at the map you can go find where the videos are, watch the sections, and then it'll also show you where blogs for those sections are as well. So go check it out. Let us know what up. you think. What, let us know what you think. It's just thelifestylepioneers.com, so nice and easy. Head over there and I'll leave a link for it below as well. But yeah, go and check it out our site and let us know what you think. The newsletter's not live yet, um, so you may have trouble if you're trying to subscribe to our newsletter. I am gonna be working on that in the next sort of week or so. so. Stand by, I'll, I'll let you guys know when that's ready. But um, yep. apart from that, the whole site should be functioning. Let us know if you find any problems with it too or any glitches. Yeah, and we'll also make an announcement on Facebook and Instagram. So if it's easier for you, jump yep. on over there and um, yeah, we'll give you updates over there. Next year's travel plans have pretty much stayed the same as when we last updated you as far as we're heading over to Tassie. 
uh, from January 1st. We're doing three months over there, so we're really excited to show you some cool stuff down there. It's been a long time since we've been to Tasmania and we've been hanging to get back ever since we left. So really, really excited for that one. And then through the middle of the year, the winter, we're a bit up in the air what we're gonna do yet. We've got a few big ideas. We, we've, the main one at the moment is, is we wanna get back over west but we want to do it, we want to go an interesting way. We want to go... A... Yeah, let us know what you think would be the most interesting way to get, say, from... East the Coast East to the Coast West Coast. to the yeah. West Coast. Yeah, should we do it down south, across the Nullarbor again, and... up north, across the top, through the middle? Mm, a bit of, Central. A bit of both. Yeah, let us know what you think would be the best way to go. But we've we've got some cool ideas as to a, a trip we might do there, and we're hoping to collaborate with another awesome travelling family that we guys know you're f familiar with and love as well. So we'll let more out of the bag as we uh, as we nail things down. But yeah, really excited for that. Um, hopefully, hoping to get back over west again next year and do do a lot more outback travel. I think we've mentioned that before. Get back to our roots, doing outback travel. Yeah, that's really the update for now. If you are a patron, as I said at the start of the video, we are doing one more uh, Q&A live with you guys before Christmas. So keep an eye on your emails about that. That'll be the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll be doing one more of those. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to check out any of that content that we've got coming up. You don't want to miss that. And as always, we'll see you next Sunday. See you Sunday.